Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Erica. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can collect open source data from the deep web. Are you wondering what the deep web is all about? We have another video on our channel introducing the deep web and how it can be used for OSINT. You can find the link to it in the description box below. Now, I will tell you about some deep web search engines that you can use to collect open source data about a specific target. JSTOR is a digital library having a huge collection of academic journals, including older issues across various fields like technology, science, anthropology, art, etc. Access to some content requires registration. Here, I have performed a search for cybersecurity. You can see various research reports and journal articles in the results. Directory of Open Access Journals maintains huge collection of freely accessible journals across numerous subjects. You can perform a search based on any of the criteria listed here. ISSN or International Standard Serial Number is a unique identifier assigned to a journal. If you are aware of a target ISSN, you can perform a search for it. If you are investigating a target or organization in the biomedical industry, then BioSeq is a great place to search for latest publications, patents, grants, and clinical trials. You can also use the Biomedical Image Search Engine. PubPeer is a platform that allows scientists to engage in discussions about latest research. You can also perform deep searches. Here, I have performed a search for the biochemist Joseph de Rissi. You can see his publications here. Elefind is a newspaper search engine. It contains digitized versions of newspapers from many countries, even dating back to the 1800s. You can perform a search based on a known keyword or use search bar filters. Here, I have performed a search for computer malware. WorldCat is a great resource to search for the presence of a specific book in libraries all over the world. I have performed a search for books on the history of Lebanon. I will choose the first result. This is the list of libraries that have a copy of this specific book. You can also use this search engine to discover libraries near you. Worldwide science allows you to search across numerous scientific and technical databases present across many countries. Here, I have performed a search for particle accelerator. A range of results have been returned. If you are researching a target or organization in the astrophysics domain, then the astrophysics data system is a great place to perform deep web searches. You can use various search operators in your search queries. Here, I have performed a search for black holes. Archive is a deep web search engine for academic literature across various domains maintained by Cornell University. I have performed a search for secure programming. Open Gray is a great resource to search for dissertations and conference papers. Try it out. You can also search for scholarly video lectures on this website. Here are the search results for the term software innovation. It is safe to perform deep web OSINT on your web browser. For additional protection, you can use a VPN. However, exercise caution when you download files and media from different websites. I hope you have a good idea now about how open source data can be collected from the deep web. Here is a project idea for you. 
Pick a target, say a biomedical scientist or an astrophysicist. Perform OSINT on the surface web about the scientist's work. Then proceed to collect data from different deep web sources relevant to the scientists. See what you can find about the target's latest work. If you like this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon.